If you look at the blocks in the motion group, you see that some of them mention X and Y. I've dragged them to the script area so you can see them clearly. We have go to X0, Y0, change X by 10, change X by minus 10, change Y by 10, change Y by minus 10, and so on. This video explains what X and Y mean. Look at these two values at the bottom of the list. They are called X position and Y position. If you click their checkboxes, they are shown on the stage. You can see at the moment that they are both set to zero. Let's see what happens when we click some of these blocks. If I click Change X by 10, the sprite moves to the right and its X position becomes 10. If I click it again, the sprite moves another 10 steps to the right and its position becomes 20. Now if I click on Set X to 0, the sprite moves left 20 steps and its X position becomes 0. If I click Change X by minus 10, the sprite now moves to the left and its X position becomes minus 10. If I keep clicking Change X by minus 10, the sprite moves left and its X position becomes more and more negative. The X position, then, is a number which tells you where the sprite is in the left to right direction. When it's in the centre of the stage, its X position is zero. When it's to the right of the centre, its X position is positive. And when it's to the left of the centre, its X position is negative. Everything I've just said about X position also applies to Y position, except that Y values refer to above and below the centre of the stage. Positive Y values are above the centre. And negative Y values are below the centre. The position of a sprite is determined by its X and Y position. The Go To block and the Glide To block let you move the sprite to wherever you want on the stage because they let you set the X and Y values where the sprite should go. Watch the X position and Y position as the sprite glides to minus 200 minus 150. Notice how the values change as the sprite moves. Each position it passes through has a pair of X and Y values. If you want to see what the possible X and Y values are, click on the Stage, then on the Backgrounds tab, and Import. In the Backgrounds folder, you'll find a background called XY Grid. Select it and click OK. The grid shows you that X values can range from minus 240 to plus 240, and that Y values can range from minus 180 to plus 180. We call the line that runs left to right through the centre of the stage the x-axis and the line that runs up and down through the centre the y-axis. You may have already noticed that just below the stage on the right hand side 
the x and y values of the mouse pointer are displayed. You can use this when designing the movements of your sprites to find x and y values on the stage without showing the grid.